You know, good audio is such a critical part of making good video. So I'm always looking for ways to improve my audio. Maybe you are too. So one thing I thought about doing was using my Zoom H1N as a preamp for my Canon M50. Now traditionally, preamps in cameras are pretty good, especially in the newer ones. Older ones, maybe not so good. So I just wanted to see if I could get better audio using a preamp from a digital recorder than the ones that came with the camera. Because even though the ones in the cameras today are pretty good, they're still not as good as the ones in a digital recorder. So, earlier I did a few tests just to see if I got an improvement over using the camera's built-in preamp. And later on, I'll get to show you what those results were. Why would you do this? Well, you may have a camera that's older, which has lousy preamps. I know I have an old Nikon DSLR, which the preamps in that thing are terrible. And I never could get great audio unless I used a digital recorder or some other way of using a different preamp. So there's one instance where that would be an improvement. Another way is just like what I'm doing. You may not be satisfied with the sound you're getting from the camera's preamp. But if you just wanted to take it to another level and maybe improve the sound quality, this is a good way to do it. So let's take a look and see how we set it up. Hi, Isom Phillips here. If you're new to this channel, I do tech reviews of audio, video, and still photography. So if that's something you're into, consider subscribing. To start using a digital recorder as a preamp, the first thing you're going to need to do is go into your camera's menu settings, go into the sound recording settings, and go to the record level and set it to one notch above zero. That way the camera's preamp will be mostly disabled and you'll be using the preamp from the digital recorder. What I did was take a hot shoe adapter and mount it to the tripod socket on the H1N. Then I was able to mount the H1N on top of my camera in the hot shoe. You could also attach the H1N to a light stand or a tripod and use a 3.5 millimeter extension cable to connect it to your camera. In either case, you want to take a 3.5 millimeter cable and insert it into the line out on the H1N. The other end would go into the microphone input on your camera. From there, you would take the 3.5 millimeter cable from your microphone and plug it into the line in input on the H1N. The way I had my microphone set up, I had a Deity D3 on a boom stand plugged into the H1N on top of my camera. And that's just one way to do it. As you can see, one of the advantages of using the H1N is you can set record levels by turning this little wheel on the front of the recorder. Before starting recording, you're going to need to set your recording levels. To do this, you need to go once again into your camera's menu settings, go to the record level meter, do some tests until you reach the record level that you desire. I try to set mine at minus 12 dB with a little bit peaking beyond that. Just remember, when you're using the H1N as a preamp, you're setting the record levels on the H1N, not on your camera. Once you have that set, then you can begin recording. You can also use the Zoom's built-in stereo microphones as a microphone for your camera. Instead of plugging your external microphone into the line in on the Zoom, you would just leave that out, take the line out from the Zoom H1N, plug that directly into your mic input, and use the microphones and the preamp from your H1N on top of your camera or set up on a light stand, however you want to do it. That way you bypass the camera's preamp and use the preamp and the microphones from the H1N. In either case, you do not have to hit record on the H1N. You're strictly using the preamps. However, if you want to record a backup recording, you can just hit record on the H1N and you'll have a backup recording on the recorder as well as a recording on your camera. Okay, I did three tests with a Deity D3 microphone and the Zoom H1N recorder. So what follows is the results of those tests. Okay, this is a test of the Deity D3 microphone. It's on a boom stand overhead and it's plugged directly into my Canon M50 into the microphone input. Okay, once again, this is the Deity D3 plugged directly into my Zoom H1N, which is then plugged into my Canon M50's microphone input. So I'm using the H1N as preamp. All right, this is another test. This is the Zoom H1N's built-in microphones plugged directly into my Canon M50. My conclusion was that the Deity D3 microphone plugged into the Zoom H1N sounded a little bit more full, a little bit more natural than the microphone by itself, and much better than the microphones built into the H1N. Let me know what you think in the comments. 
Now these tests were conducted using a, this Zoom H1N recorder. And the reason I use this is because it's a relatively inexpensive recorder. Now there are all types of recorders available. There's also a Zoom H5, a Zoom H6, which would allow you to plug XLR microphones as inputs. More expensive microphones would probably get a lot better sound than you would from this little thing. But this is an improvement over the camera's preamp in my opinion. Let me know what you think when you listen to the samples. If you have any questions about the Zoom H1 or about using the Zoom H1 as a preamp, please let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. Also, this Zoom H1N uh, sells for $119. That's the normal price. Sometimes you can get them on sale for a little bit under $100. And it's a very versatile little recorder and it's so small it's easy to pack in your backpack or stick it in your pocket. Very handy little item to have. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching everyone. Stay safe and we'll see you in the next one.